All right, we got a viewer request today to do. But before I get to our viewer request video, please allow my brief prelude. My name is uh, Robert Francis. This is my clean shaven jib for reasons of my medical confidentiality. This is my own concrete schizophrenia YouTube channel where me and the bird we. That's right, that's right. We talk schizophrenia. I'm a licensed clinical social worker times 15 years and di been diagnosed with schizophrenia for 25 plus one. Years, that is. Years. Um, today's viewer request. In a previous video, I talked about where uh, schizophrenia dwells, and I mentioned that it was highly existential. In other words, it's in the fabric of our experience from every day, day to day to day. It's an experience. And I was asked if I could expound on what kind of existential issues people with schizophrenia might be preoccupied with. And so, two topic, two topic, two topic. Well, um, firstly, um, some of the issues may be things like what is possible in the world. We have delusions and auditory hallucinations with that other people would dis easily discount, but they're so experiential to us that we wonder. Is it possible to hear the voice of somebody dead? Is it possible to hear the voice of God? Is it possible for that person to be communicating me, to me mind to mind? Um, those kind of um, preoccupations with what may be possible in the world based on our delusions and auditory hallucinations. Um, we may also be uh, preoccupied with ethics, human ethics, how we treat one another. Oftentimes we're paranoid and we think that other people are out to uh, uh, induce uh, a sort of malevolence towards us. And um, we get preoccupied with um, how people are supposed to treat each other. Ethics, human ethics, is another thing that we could get um, preoccupied with. The way in which people treat each other. Are they malevolent or are they benevolent? Are people good or are people evil? And what are the consequences of that? And then lastly is kind of metaphysical questions about what is really real? What is actually real in the world? Um, and uh, so that would be another kind of existential uh, consideration about um, the fabric of reality. What is really real? And so those are some of the existential preoccupations that people with schizophrenia may um, have that other people do not. Um, it's very philosophical, and then mostly people with schizophrenia wind up being kind of philosophical in the end. Um, and so that's um, it on existential preoccupations. All right. I always love, love doing viewer requests. They, those are my favorite. Me and the bird, we flip out over that. That's right. All right. See you next time. Thank you.